Welcome, Rory here with Subdivision.com and today we have a video on some DJ effects that we'll be giving away free on our website and uh, before we jump in and see what these things can do I'm going to go ahead and explain the difference between uh, each of the different racks. These can be used in a production setup or a uh, DJ performance, uh, either or your preference. The first rack here, the Two Knobber Jobber, is a set of five different effects that can be selected with this FX select knob and then once you go to the effects that you want to apply you know, the wet knob will apply that effect so all the way to zero is, is dry you won't hear the effect so you can rotate this knob you know all your heart's content and you won't hear the effect until you actually apply the wet knob uh, to the effect this is a really good rack if you're limited on space on your mixer and uh, it only uses two knobs, so it, it's good. You know, MIDI map it to uh, two knobs or two faders. Um, and you can see that when you hover your mouse over the knobs, it'll tell you what each knob does and what it's best MIDI map to there at the bottom over here in the um, info view. So that's pretty handy. And it's like that for all the effects racks. See, go through it and see what each thing does, you know, if you're unsure. And another thing on the two knobber jobber effects is that uh, I added a limiter here. And when the macro is all the way to the left, it's off. So if you don't want to use a limiter, then just keep it off. But it's there if you want it. You know, to the right activates the limiter, and you know you can go and set it to however you like your limiters. But uh, it's ready to go, just like that. So that's the two knobber jobber, perfect button and fader FX rack is different is it because each effect is on its own macro knob some of these knobs actually work better if they were mini map to buttons um, you can mini map them to a fader or a knob but they just seem to work better on a button you know when you apply the button it turns the effect on and turns the effect off when you release the button uh, another thing to note down here is you can see how uh, these pots are at 64, 12 o'clock degrees. And that's because when you map these to a knob at 12 o'clock, the signal will be dry. But if you turn the knob to the left, it will activate the, the effect. So on this one in particular is uh, if you go left, you'll get the phaser. And if you go right, you'll get a chorus effect. You know, this one, your filters, low pass and high pass here. But right in the middle, it's a... Uh, unaffected signal. Another thing too it's good about these effects is when you turn them on and off you won't hear any coloration in the audio coming through. They're pretty clean. You know you won't hear any effects artifacts or any kind of uh, gain or coloration so that's that's a good thing because there's a lot of effects out there that you know as soon as you turn them on you can just hear a difference in the audio coming through and um, you know some people don't like their music colors so that's one, that's one nice thing about this. And they use very little CPU. Uh, open this up right here. Yeah, you can see a lot of these effects racks aren't running until you actually apply the effect. All right, there's the one bar looper. You can see it turning on and off there. Each effect is in its own effects rack. So if you wanted to just take these effects racks out, mix match them, and make your own effects, then it's really easy to do. And uh, I guess another thing to know while I'm in here is a lot of these racks have um, alternate functions. Uh, you can go in and, and change the settings to how you want these effects to sound. You, know, you can customize them to your own liking here. Here's the phaser chorus. The only thing it's affecting is the wet and dry for the chorus and phaser, but if you don't like how the phaser sounds, you can go in and adjust some of the settings here. And so just recommend like going in and checking these out, opening them up and seeing uh, if there's any extra settings in there, you know, that you can adjust this one. All right, let's get in and see what these things sound like. We have a tune here that was shared with us by uh, Donald Joseph called Surge here. Great tech house tune. Donald Joseph is uh, one of the artists on Subdivision. So thank you, Donald, for sharing the tune. And um, so we're just going to hit play and I'm just going to go through and just turn these knobs and let you guys hear what they all sound like. All right, here we go. See, so I'm going to turn these all on, no coloration. Can't tell any difference if the rack is on or off. It's nice. Okay, open this here so you can actually see the chain, different effects being selected here. First one's noise wash. Thank you. 
little off here. My gate. There we go. Close up here, we're gonna move the next one. Effects button fader. Now these ones would be uh, mapped to a button here, but uh, so I'm just gonna emulate, hit the button by opening things up fast and closing them. Effects are pretty subtle too, as well. You know, so it's a good thing. You don't want to overpower your audio with effects. All right, pretty cool. Good stop here. So yeah, these are the the DJ effects here available on Subdivision.com. And uh, you know, again, if you want to know what each effect does, you just Scroll over each of the knob and it'll tell you kind of a brief description of what each effect is and uh, where to map it to. So, hope you enjoy and thank you very much. Bye.